So I was repairing this Dell E151 FPB 15 inch LCD monitor yesterday and just uh, last night I noticed that I forgot to replace a screw inside the monitor. So today I'm going to be making a disassembly video um, on how to take apart the monitor's case and then um, I'll go a little bit deeper but not too much. I'm just going to take apart the case and probably take off the metal shielding that's under the case and then that'll be it for the video. The case is the hardest part to disassemble on this monitor. Uh, the reason why is because there's clips holding the case together. Uh, once you have the screws removed you have to take a flathead screwdriver and pry it into the case to um, unlatch the clips and you have to go all around the case and it's an absolute pain as you will see later in the video. So what we're going to remove first are the two screws on the far sides of the case. There's one on the far bottom right side of the case and you can see what orientation I have the monitor in now. Uh, it's laying flat this is the top of the monitor, and obviously this is the mon bottom of the monitor because the base is right here. So first you're going to need to remove the far right bottom screw, and then the far left bottom screw, um, which you can see if I angle it a bit better. There it is right there. And we're just going to take our Phillips screwdriver and unscrew those screws. So first we'll have a go at the left one. and then the right one. Next you're going to take out the two screws that are holding the base to the case. After those two screws are removed, the base should just come off with a little bit of effort. And, and I prefer to leave the screws inside the base so I don't get the uh, these screws mixed up with the other case screws. There you go. And there's one little wire right here that you just have to uh, remove by pushing on the bottom of it. And pulling it off. There you go. And I'll just move the base over here. There's two screws right here that hold in this section of plastic. You're going to go ahead and remove those as well. Once those screws are removed, the uh, plastic piece just snaps off. And there we go. And once again, I prefer to leave these screws in this piece as well. I'll just put that off to the side. You can remove this metal bracket by pulling back this piece of plastic right here. It's like a uh, little plastic clip. Just push that back with your finger and pull the metal bracket out. There we go. And there's one more screw out, uh, under the metal bracket that we will get to in a minute. Once you have the screw removed, please put it somewhere where you will not get it mixed up with the other screws. Now here comes the fun part. This is the part where we have to uh, work our flathead sc screwdriver in between the uh, this, this little section of the case in order to get the case snaps to unlatch. And I'll uh, give you a closer look of that right now. See right where that uh, little opening is, you're going to put your flathead screwdriver right there and pry the case open, which I will demonstrate in just a minute. I'm sorry about that if you guys couldn't exactly see what was happening right there. That wasn't the best viewing angle I could have chosen. Um, but basically what I was doing was just taking the screwdriver 
and wedging it into the case and then gradually working around it and getting the clips unclipped. So basically I would stick the screwdriver in and then snap the clip out of place, move down the line, stick the screwdriver in, snap the clip out of place. Uh, and it's a pretty time consuming process. I've done it like six times, so it only took me about three minutes, but still it's an absolute pain. So I actually found where I forgot to install that one screw. It's right here on this uh, metal uh, block where the, or metal plate where the logic board and power supply are held. And I'll show you that in a minute. I will take off the shielding and that's as far as we're gonna get uh, in terms of disassembly. So let me go ahead and take off the uh, piece of metal shielding right here that's blocking you guys from viewing the logic board and power supply and then that will be about it for this video. I'll also do a uh, fast forward uh, clip of me putting the monitor back together. To remove the shielding there's only three screws. There's one on the top of the shielding right here and then two holding this metal bracket in place right here which in turn holds the shielding uh, in place. So we're going to take off these two black screws first and then this one metallic screw right here, and then the casing should just slide off. And we can now remove the shielding. So first take off this bracket on the left side. Should just pop off. There we go. Move it to the side. And then we can take off this big panel of shielding. So just lift up on it from the back and it should snap out of place. There you go. And the shielding is off. And here we can take a closer look at the logic board and power supply board. Here's the logic board. In order to remove the logic board there's uh, only four screws. There's one on the top right, top left, uh, bottom left and then bottom right and then once you've taken all those out you have to remove all the both the ribbon cables uh, the VGA cable and this data cable that's leaving leading to the uh, various buttons on the front of the case and then once you have all that removed you can slide the uh, logic card out of the power supply port right here uh, it's just a gentle slide out You'll have to use a little bit of force, but it shouldn't be too hard. And I'll just give you a closer look at the power supply board, or not power supply board, but logic board for just a minute more, and then we'll move on to the power supply board. We can see our power supply board right here with the one gigantic filter capacitor in the uh, middle of the board. Um, there's multiple screws to get this board out. Uh, one on the top right, or top left actually. Uh, there's one right here. Let me see if I can find any more. One right next to the uh, power port. There's one that uh, is grounding the power supply, so you'll have to remo remove that in order to remove the power supply. Uh, there's a screw right here that you'll have to remove. Of course you'll have to remove the cables leading to the uh, LCD. And once you have all those screws removed, there's this plastic little tab that's an absolute nuisance. This tab makes the board impossible to remove because you have to take uh, needle nose pliers and then pinch that together while at the same time you have to push the board forward to move it out of this clip right here and to get the uh, power jack uh, cleared from the metal bracket right here. And then while you're doing all that, you have to push up on the board to get it clear of the plastic tab. And you need like four hands in order to do this. Um, so you might need some help if you're going to remove the power supply board, which I did, because the solder joints of this, or solder joints of this inductor needed to be re-soldered because they came loose and the, uh, monitor, the monitor would no longer function. It just gave me the white screen. And before I throw the monitor back together, I will give you guys a closer look at the power supply board.
And there you go. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment in the comments section of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and please do not forget to like this video. I'll see you next time.